Morning, kids. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. Hmm. Before I begin, I want to ask you something. Have you heard about the Ten Commandments? Uh, what is that? Have you heard about that, Matthew? I, I. That's all right. Do you know about the Ten Commandments, George? It is the ten laws that God gave Moses for people to follow. Hmm, very good. That's correct. So children, we are going to learn today about the Ten Commandments. I'm going to tell you the story of how God gave these commandments to Moses. Shall I start? The Hebrews who reached Egypt with Joseph enjoyed freedom and prosperity till the middle of 16th century. But with the emergence of a new dynasty, they were subjected to cruel slavery and torture. There were so many Hebrew slaves, and the Pharaoh feared they might start a rebellion against them. These Hebrews! These children of Israel, I don't like them. Yes, Your Majesty. They are terrible people. They are not like us. There are too many of them. They could start their own army. They could one day rebel against us. Yes, my lord, they could do that. I have tried everything, overloading them with work so that they'll drop and die, doubling their taxes, everything. I must not let them grow in numbers anymore. Yes, my lord. We must not let their population grow. I must break their will this time. Break their hearts and bring them down this time. Yes, we must bring them down. Summon the gods. Go out and take every Hebrew baby and throw them into the Nile. Yes, my lord. We must throw uh, what? But my lord, the babies? Yes, the babies. These Hebrews must fear me. They should understand that I am their God. Now go and inform this to the commander and others. Yes, your majesty. Commander, commander. Ha, 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 ha. They shall now worship me. My child, don't take him. Don't take him, please. Uh, go away. <laughs> there were cries everywhere, and it was now time. God was about to intervene and help the sons of Israel. But one mother was not willing to let her son die. My son will live. Mother, are you going to float him in the river? We have no other option. If your brother has to survive, then this is the only way. May God guide you, my son. Nobody is going to hurt my baby brother. The basket floated for many hours and finally stopped near the Pharaoh's palace. And the basket was spotted by Pharaoh's daughter. Huh? What is that? Nate, 
Bring me that basket. Yo, princess. Huh? It's a baby? It's a Hebrew child, princess. We must throw him back into the river. What? Kill this innocent baby? No! I will not let this child get killed. I will bring him up as my own son. He will be a prince over all men because he was drawn from water. His name shall be Moses. You are destined for great things, Moses. I feel it in my heart, my son. Moses grew up in the palace like a prince. Moses, along with Pharaoh's son, Ramesses, learned the scriptures together. He also learned to fight like a prince. On his 21st birthday, Pharaoh invited Moses to his palace to celebrate. Moses? I am so happy for you. Thank you so much. Here is your birthday gift. From now on, you will be in charge of all the Hebrew slaves in our kingdom. No. Are you happy? I am. I am so grateful. Get up. Get up. You are my son, Moses. Ugh! No! Please don't! Huh? Shut up! Shut up, you lazy fool! No! Please stop! Do you think you can get away with this acting? Stand up! Please! What? What's going on here? Who are you to ask? No. Ah. No. Ah. Get away, you! I told you to stop! Ah. How dare you! I am going to teach you a lesson! Moses! 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 Who are you? You... You look like me. I am Aaron, son of your nurse. So? She's not your nurse, Moses. She's your mother. What? But... But I'm the prince of Egypt. Uh... Moses... Don't you remember the basket? The blanket that mother gave you? I... I... Uh, yes. Don't you remember your sister, Miriam? Miriam? Miriam is my sister? Yes, Moses. Don't you remember anything? I... I... I have dreamt of those, but I never believed they were real. They are real, Moses, and I'm your brother, Aaron. My brother, my brother. Moses, we all love you, Moses. But now, you must ride for your life. No, I'm a prince of Egypt. I don't have to run anywhere. Take this donkey and flee while you still can. What about you, Miriam, my family? We will survive. We always have. And we, we always will. Get on the donkey and leave now. Yes, master. They will come and kill you. Please leave now. But, but... Trust me, Moses. They are here now, Moses.
we will see each other again Moses I know it I feel it Moses walked for many days in the desert without food and water he wandered aimlessly I'm sorry donkey I hope we'll find some place to get water soon What where are you going Stop what's there are thirsty. Boo aside, I said. Stop him! You. Ah! Stop it! The women were here first. You can either fight with me or stand for your turn. Who do you think you are? Let's teach him a lesson. Here. You still want to fight? Run! Run! Are you all right? Yes, we are. Thank you so much. Can I get some water? Of course. Here. Thank you. Drink well, my friend. What's your name? Uh, Moses. I am Zipporah, daughter of the head priest Jethro. Are you a Hebrew? No. Yes, I'm a Hebrew. I'm just a stranger in a strange land. Please come with us. My father will want to thank you for saving us. Okay, I will come. Moses married Zipporah and settled in the land of Midian. He looked after the flocks of Jethro. Moses had two sons and he was very happy and content with his life. I'm leaving dear. I will be back by evening. Don't go too far. All right woman. <laughs> but in Egypt, the children of Israel were being tortured. They were treated very badly and their cries came up to God. God chose Moses to help Abraham's descendants. Hey, you little one, you have had enough to eat? <laughs> oh, I think it's time to leave. Come on, everyone. Come here. Hey, come here. Don't go there. Stop. You be careful. Come here. What is that? I have never seen anything like that before. A fire that doesn't burn the bush. And when he reached near that bush, God spoke to him. Moses. Huh? Moses. Moses. Ah, oh, I'm here. I am I'm right here. Take off your shoes, for you are standing on holy ground. I I have taken off my shoes. I am Yehovah, God of Israel. 
I am the God of your forefathers, the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. I have seen the condition of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their cries. I mean to deliver them out of the hands of Egyptians and bring them to the land that was promised to their fathers. I will send you Moses to free them and you will bring my people to serve me upon this mountain. Who am I, Lord, to do this? If I go back to Egypt and say that I was sent by God, nobody would believe me. What do I tell them? Give the people my message and they will follow you out of Egypt to this mountain and then you will lead them to their true home, a land that will flow with milk and honey for them all. Do not be afraid. Do as I've instructed Moses and I will be with you. And following God's instructions, Moses left his home, his wife and children. Do you really have to go? God has spoken. I must go. But, but you were really happy here. No dear, I'm sorry to say this, but I wasn't really happy staying here. How could I be happy knowing that my people were being crushed in Egypt? But, but... We have talked about this. I have to go. Father, don't go. Come on, son. I have told you, I'm following God's instructions. Will we ever see you again? Of course, son. You must have faith. We will wait for you, Moses. We will wait. Bye, Father. Bye, son. We have made it. We are here. We made it here, my friend. Ah, come on, donkey. Let's sit here for some time. Here, drink some water. Moses? Who? Aaron! <laughs> my brother! Moses, you're here. Brother! Miriam? Miriam, my sister. <laughs> Baby brother? I knew we would meet again someday. But how did you know that I'll be coming? I had a dream. God told me to meet you here. It was no dream, brother. We have to do as he has commanded. The situation here has worsened, Moses. What happened, brother? The king died last year, and now his son Ramses is ruling. He's ruthless, arrogant, and a slave master. He's torturing our people. Our sufferings have grown tenfold under him, Moses. Mm. All our troubles are going to end soon. We will go and see Pharaoh tomorrow. Remesis? Yes, I haven't seen him in years. Yes, we will. Let's go to our home now. I told our people that you would be coming. I told them about the land that God promised them. Aaron, I'm glad you are with me. We are going to need all the help that we can get. I will always be by your side, Moses. Thank you, my brother. You'll be staying with us, little brother. Take good rest. You have much to do tomorrow.
Moses, Moses the murderer, Moses the coward. Rameses, I come on urgent business. I come as a representative of God. Representative of God, huh? Ha ha ha. And what does he have to say? God has spoken to me. The Lord God of Israel says, let my people go. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh Moses, you expect me to just let the Hebrews leave? Just like that? Because of a God who I haven't heard of wants me to? You should mind your own business and get out of here. You are pathetic in my eyes. You are a fraud. I am the God of Egypt. Show him it's time. Behold the power of the Lord God. Don't worry, son. It's just a trick. Bring our magicians. Yes, master. Oh, a snake, is it? Here you go. Huh? Ha 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 ha. See two snakes. Even our magicians can outdo your so-called god. Our magicians are better. Hey look, the snake is eating ours. Huh? Father? Hear me, Pharaoh. Let my people go. Tell your god that Pharaoh will not release his slaves. No. Tell your god that I'll increase their work. I will no longer give them straw to make their bricks. They will have to find their own straw. Tell your god that. You are going to suffer for us. That's enough for today, children. I will tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Father. Is everyone here? Yes, Father. Good. Now, do you remember where we stopped yesterday? Yes, Father. You told us how Moses went and met Rameses, the Pharaoh of Egypt. Moses asked Rameses to release his people from slavery and let them leave to the promised land. Very good, George. What happened after that, Father? Rameses got really angry when Moses asked him to free the slaves. In his anger, he doubled the work of Hebrew slave. Keep working, you lazy Hebrew slave. Ah! If you don't meet your quota today, then you will die. More bricks! More bricks! Who is he? He's Pharaoh's spy. Talk to him carefully. Huh? Pharaoh has Hebrews as spies? You have been away for a very long time, Moses. Are you happy now? They are making us work even harder now. All you have done is make everything worse. You should go and tell Pharaoh that you were wrong. I was helping you. We didn't ask for your help. Apologize. Apologize now. God, 
I did like you told me. But things have gotten worse now. Moses, go again to Pharaoh. I will make you like a god to him. Take your staff and dip it in the river. You shall multiply my wonders in this land. And by this they shall know that I am the Lord. I will do so, my Lord. Moses, Pharaoh, the Lord God has commanded you to let the Hebrews leave. Who? The Lord God of trickery, is it? Out of my way, Moses. Behold his power. And Moses did as the Lord commanded. He lifted up his staff and dipped it in the river Nile. Throughout all the lands of Egypt, the water turned to blood. The fish died and the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink. Another clumsy bit of magic. Fine, I don't have to drink water when I have wine. You are so cold-hearted, Pharaoh. But Lord God has instructed me. I will show you that he is the one true God. Pharaoh, cousin, please let my people go. This doesn't have to happen. Your people are going to suffer if you remain adamant. Some will die. Enough! I am the only God. And then he hit the ground with his staff and the dust became lice. Pharaoh's magicians could do nothing. But Pharaoh refused to let the slaves leave. Ah, oh, God! Pharaoh is not letting the people leave. He again raised his staff and hit the ground. This time, millions of frogs came out of the river. There were frogs everywhere. This time, it was a storm of flies. The cattle died, the land stank. Bring me Moses. Yes, my lord. Ramesses. Ugh, you, you. How long will it take for you to realize that this is God's will? Don't hurt your people anymore. God commands you to let his people go. Don't think that you are greater than God. I am the God. If you don't want your people slain, then leave my city. Listen to me. God is sending one final plague tonight. At midnight today, he will kill every firstborn child in this kingdom. You are banished from this house. Banished. If I ever see your face again, then I'll kill you. If only you listened. Father. Yes, my son. I'm the firstborn son. I'm afraid. Don't worry, my son. These are just his tricks. This man is nothing. His God is nothing. Then Moses called for all elders of Israel and he said to them, God has spoken to me. 
Tonight you shall slaughter your lamb and mark your doors with its blood. Do not leave your home until morning. Lord God is coming tonight and he will deal with your oppressors and will shield you from the destroyer. When death sees the lamb's blood on your doors, he will pass over your homes. He will not hurt any of you. Once we leave from this town, we must remember this night. From now on, we all will celebrate this night of the Passover. And the people did as the Lord commanded. Uh, what is this? It's happening. What's happening? It's like Moses warned us. Run for your life. Ah! And as the midnight came to pass, all the firstborns of Egypt were struck. The city started echoing with cries. Oh great God! No! No! My son! Not my son! <sighs> what happened? The death. It has passed us. Thank God! Yes. But pity the firstborn of Egypt. My son! My friend, I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. Take your people and leave. I don't care for anything now. Thank you. And... And... Don't say a word. I will never forget what you did. Just leave. And that day, all the Hebrews left the city of Egypt. They were finally free, free from slavery, hardships, and all their sorrows. Thank you, Moses. I just did what God asked me to. Where are we going? We are going to the promised land. Where is this promised land? I don't know. He will guide us. And the Lord guided them through the day and the night. Come on, this way. After traveling for many days, they reached the shores of the sea. What am I supposed to do now, God? How am I going to cross this vast sea? I was a fool. I shouldn't have let them leave. Bring them back. I want all of them back. But Moses? I want him dead. Kill Moses. Kill him. Ready the horses. We leave now. The Pharaoh is coming to kill us all. Are you happy now? You brought us here to die. We were at least alive in the city. Now you're going to get us killed. You were going to die today, Moses. Kill them! Kill them all! Moses! Moses! What are we going to do? We must do something quick. The Pharaoh is here. I know what to do. Do not be afraid. We have God on our side and he will never allow anyone to harm you. But we are stuck here. What are we going to do? Help us God. 
It was a miracle. God parted the sea to let Moses and his people pass. Did you see that, my lord? Don't stop. We'll cross the sea and catch them at the other bank. The Egyptians followed them into the seas. But when all Hebrews reached safely on the other side, God made the water return. Ah! There is no one like you, God. You have saved your chosen people. You have taken us out of slavery, out of Egypt. You saved us, Moses. Thank you. I did nothing. I was just following God's word. We still have a long way to go. Come on, let's go. On to the promised land. Moses walked for many days in the desert. They had no food to eat and no water to drink. People began to doubt him. What kind of plan is this? No food, no water. Are you going to kill us? What's your plan? Yes, what is your plan? You always complain. Didn't God take care of you like a father? Hasn't he promised you a great land for your home? But we are hungry. And thirsty. Can't you do anything? We are dying out here. If God provides you with water, will you stop complaining then? Yes, but there is no water around here. What are you doing? See how God loves you. Water! Come on everyone, water! Moses, Moses! What is it now? We could use some food, you know. Everyone is hungry. Lord, these people are driving me mad. I don't know what they want. I have heard the murmurings of Israel's children. Tomorrow morning, you will get food from heaven. Thank you, Lord. And in the morning, it was so. On the ground lay the food. People were really happy. This is manna, the bread from the heavens. Take it, eat it. Once you are ready, then we will start marching. They continued their journey in the desert. But people continued to question why they were led out of Egypt. They demanded more and more from Moses. We are tired of manna. We want meat. You will get your meat. They continued their journey for many more days and they finally arrived at foothills of Mount Sinai. Stop! Everyone stop! We will camp here for a few days. Where are we, Moses? Do you see that mountain? It's called Mount Sinai. It was here that God appeared to me. Are you going up there, Moses? Yes. I'm going up there. Alone? But... Master! Master! <laughs> Joshua, my general. Master, if you are going up there, then let me join you. 
Hmm. But it... Don't worry, master. I am your general, remember? I will follow you wherever you go. <laughs> All right, you can come with me. Aaron, I will be gone for many days. Please ask the people to remain patient and wait for me. People camped at the base of the mountain and Moses and Joshua climbed up the mountain. They walked for a long time. Joshua, I must go alone from here. Don't worry, master. I will wait for you here. And he climbed up and up into the thick cloud. He stayed for 40 days and 40 nights in darkness waiting for God. In the meantime, people down below had become impatient. They started revolting. And one day, they came before Aaron. He's not going to come back, ever. He abandoned us. It's been so long. Moses will come back. Moses is coming back. Trust him. I don't think so. Don't you believe so? It's been many days. I don't think he's coming back. We are all going to die. You. We want you to make a god for us. What? There's only one god who liberated us from Egypt. No. We want a real god. A god who we can see and touch. I... I can't do that. If you don't make us one, then you will die. Huh? How dare you? <laughs> and you will die too. Make us what we want or else both of you are going to die. Oh dear. Give all your jewelry to Aaron. Give him all your silver too. And Aaron will make us a real god. A golden cow. Aaron was forced to make an idol out of gold as the children of Israel wanted. Please forgive me, God. Aaron worked for a long time and when it was finally ready, he presented it to the people. Here it is. Here is your God made out of gold. Isn't this what you wanted? Isn't this? Move away, you. Here is our God. Let's celebrate. Let's dance, people. I'm sorry, Moses. And after 40 days and 40 nights, God appeared before Moses. 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 God, I give to you the way to live. I give to you my Ten Commandments. Remember them. Teach them. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not worship false gods. You shall never take my name in vain. You shall keep the Sabbath day holy. Honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not lie. You shall never want what belong to others. Thank you, God. Thank you. Master! Master! Joshua! Come, Joshua. It's time to go back. What is that sound? Hmm. I... I think it's the sound of celebration. Celebration? It's Moses. So what? We don't need him anymore. We have our own beautiful golden god. Is this how you repay your god? He released you from slavery and yet you doubted him. You will repay for this. Look at this. He gave his commandments to us. All who believes in God, walk toward me. Are you people crazy? Don't go! 
we have our own God. Come back. He wants to be like the Pharaoh in Egypt. He wants to rule over us. Stop it. Witness the judgment of the Lord. When Moses threw down the tablets, God punished everyone who committed idolatry. Lord, please forgive them. They are sorry for what they did. If you are still angry, then punish me first. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Moses then went back to the mountain. God forgave him and gave him another set of tablets. But the sins of the children of Israel caused them to wander in the wilderness for 40 years until the older generation who did not believe perished. And finally, they arrived on the banks of Jordan. Moses, this is the land that I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I have let you see it with your own eyes, but you shall not walk on it. Only the people you led will. Thank you, Lord. Master, Joshua, come here. Why did you call me master? Joshua, look over there. Do you see that on the other side of the river? Master, is that, is that the promised land? <laughs> yes, Joshua, it is the promised land. <laughs> we made it, we made it, master. I knew you would lead us there, master. I never doubted for a second. Thank you. What are we waiting for then? Let's lead our people to the promised land. They will be elated with this news. Come down and lead us, Master. No, Joshua. You will have to lead them. What? But why? Lord spoke to me. My time is up, Joshua. He told me that I am only allowed to see the promised land, not to walk on it. It is you who have to lead them now. But Master, don't forget it is God who gave you the promised land. You must hold fast to this covenant. I will, Master. All right, you should go now and tell them about this good news. Yes, Master. Father, I have a doubt. Yes, Lucy. Did they reach the promised land after Moses died? Hmm. Yes, they did. But only after a lot of struggle. I will tell you about that in the next episode, Joshua's Battle. Goodbye, children. <laughs>